know, Harry Houdini, I may have shared this in the past with you. It's a great story of how Harry Houdini was, was a guy who was more slippery than an eel and had more lives than a cat, it seemed like. They did everything they could to contain him, to, to uh, keep him from escaping. He had all these spectacular escape uh, uh, evidences of his ability to escape from all the ways they would try to you know, contain him. They would uh, put him in canvas bags and he'd get out of that. They would uh, put him in beer barrels and they would you know, put it all around. They would seal it. He'd get away from that, put him in a maximum security prison. He got out of that. He's a great escape artist. But in 1926, he died. And he said, he told his wife, I'm going to escape this as well. He said, on the anniversary of, of, uh, of, my, of my death, you, uh, you'll see me. I'll come back. And she left a light, and she waited for him on that anniversary. And he didn't show up. She did that for ten successive years until finally she turned the light out and didn't try it again. He couldn't escape death. It's not a one of us that can overcome without Christ what's inevitable. If you want power for eternity over the death that's going to face every one of us, but if you want power in this day, in this week, in this month, in this year, it's yours through Jesus Christ.